Hi there, this is Dr. John Whitcomb explaining about Biotoxin Part 6, Marcons. Have you ever heard of Marcons? M-A-R-C-O-N-S, Marcons, stands for Multiple Antibiotic Resistant Staph Aureus. I'm um, Staph Epidermidus, uh, or Coag Negative Staph. Now, what is that? That's actually grows, you can culture it off your skin, off your arm, off your hand. I was trained in medical school that it's a very benign commensal organism. It's on all of us. And we got the first clue that it wasn't so benign about 15 years ago when folks began to realize that if you got an infection of it on a heart valve, you could never repair that heart valve. You'd have to cut it out. Or on a total knee transplant, if you cut it, if you got infected with coag negative staph. So it's not so benign. Well, what happens in biotoxin illness? The fundamental disease of biotoxin illness is damage to your basic immune system, your lizard, crocodile, very primitive immune system that we share with them that's called our uh, reactive system. And that is the like calling a 911 reaction without really being specific. It's your body putting out inflammation and not really knowing what to do. Uh, the adaptive system, which is much more specific, comes in later. And you lower MSH. MSH is melanocyte stimulating hormone, but it really is the foundation of giving you the ability to regulate some of your more sophisticated immune system. When you lower MSH, you really can't fight infections. And one of those infections is the staph that's already on your skin, and it gets into your nose, and it grows in your nose. And as it grows there, it becomes part of a biofilm community. Now, the real enemy is the biofilm. The biofilm is made of gunk. Uh, fungus, uh, bacteria, protein, but it becomes a place that nothing can penetrate. Antibiotics can't get into it. So we've known for 20 years now that if you take antibiotics for sinus infections, once or twice you're going to have a fungus infection. And you might as well treat the fungus infection. I've written many prescriptions for, and for antifungals over the years. And that was our first clue that something was going on when we got multiple sinus infections. And did you know the antibiotics are the most common use of antibiotics in America right now is for, some, is for sinus infections? Well, once you get that biofilm, you're never going to clear your marcons out of your nose unless you use something called beg spray. And beg spray stands for Bactroban or Bath or, and A stands for. Or, or, or G stands for gentamicin. Those are the two antibiotics that can kill staph if they can get in there. But what you really want is something that breaks up the biofilm. And that's the E. And that's EDTA. And that was one of the things that uh, has, that's one of the big advances in killing off Marcons is the invention of beg spray. And I think that was by Hopkinton Drug in Massachusetts that Dr. Shoemaker has been working with. Well, beg spray for a month, two squirts, both noses, three times a day, and you're done. Uh, another protocol is one squirt three times a day with rifampin, but uh, folks aren't using rifampin necessarily anymore, find out both are effective. But the, the problem with Marcons is it puts out two proteins that continue to stimulate destruction of MSH. So Marcons becomes its own self-perpetuating problem. So once you have the infection in your nose, they put out their little hemolysins, they cut, chop up MSH, and you have suppressed MSH, and then your immune system can't get rid of it. Round and round and round you go. I call that merry ground number two. Now what's most intriguing to me is we've known for almost 100 years, since Weston Price, that infected teeth oftentimes have the same infection you have in your sinuses. And people who have in teeth infections know they have sinus pain. And we also know that Dr. Shoemaker's found that, in fact, Marcon's is in your teeth in root canals. And when you hear about and read about ozone treatment, ozone treatment which is particularly useful for dental infections, seems to cure those infections seems to cure those infections. So it may be coming some synergy of these cross-linking pieces of information. But what will work for me? Well, if I'm going to cure biotoxin illness, step number six is I've got to cure Marcon's. It means you have to culture for it. You have to get rid of it. The good news is it only takes a month. 
Bad news is it may be not just in your sinuses, maybe in your teeth. See you next week. This is Dr. John Whitcomb talking about biotoxin illness number six, Marcon's.